down with this example. Um, you're given some data and he asks you to draw a 99% confidence interval for this. The formula for the confidence interval is here. Um, what we could first do with knowing is what the standard deviation is and what the sample mean is. And if it is a sample, maybe we should work out the sample standard deviation rather than the population one. However, in statistics one, it won't particularly matter unless it definitely states find the unbiased estimate for the standard deviation. And if it does that, you must work out that one. Um, but let's have a look on the calculator. So what we need to do is pop the values in. So in list one, I've popped the values in. This is in stats mode. Um, now press calculate. Check the settings it says X numbers are in list one. There's a frequency of one of each number. When you're happy, it says that. Then press the blue button. Um, next press one var. And we can read off the digits that we need. So we need X bar, which is 131. Plus and minus, the Z value isn't given here. Times S or the population standard deviation. So whichever one we're going to use. Um, if I use the population one this time, might be a bit strange. But the first lesson we use the population one and then the second lesson we use this, the other one. Um, oh, I can't make my mind up. No, I'm going to use the sample. I'll use the sample one because it feels more like a sample. 10.17, then as my S value, and then over root N, which is 10. So I've used the S one. However, as I say, half the time in the stats exam, they don't care if you use the right standard deviation or not. But if it's definite this is a sample, then maybe we should use a sample one, and it's 10.17. So we've got that. We need to find this Z value. If you remember, the only way to get a Z value is inverse normal. So we need to exit a few times and then press distribution and normal and inverse button. The only one we're allowed to press on this F3. And now we change these things. We want the tail, because it's confidence interval, to say center. And because we're after 98% confidence interval, we need to put 0 0.98. The standard deviation for a Z value is always one, and the mean is always zero. So we'll do that, press the blue button, and there we get the Z 98% number. So that one is plus and minus 2.326. So we're putting that into there, and 131.1 one there, right. Okay, now you can do this calculation in run mode by doing it first with a minus, and then doing it second time with a plus to get your bottom and top limit for your confidence interval, and it's a confidence interval for mu, the population mean. Right. Um, we could do that and when we've done it we can check it and there's a way to check it but it won't get your marks in the exam but we'll look at a way to check it on the calculator so exit that one a few times get us back to that screen if I hadn't been drinking alcohol it would be straight that's a lie um, so now we need to press interval so that's the one after test interval oops I'm shaking um, now we need to press Z because that's what we're working with and these funny things are on about some proportion things you don't want those and we've only got one sample so press one sample now tell us we've got here our data is a variable okay confidence interval 0 0.98 good standard deviation because we're doing the check we're not after a Z value so I'm going to tell it the standard deviation was the 10.17 that we found earlier. And the mean of X is 
131.1 and we had 10 numbers. So press that and that should check and be the same as the values if we'd done this on the calculator. So we should get 123.6 and 138.6. Those might be slightly different to the one he did in the video because I think he used the population standard deviation there, which will make a slight difference with these two numbers. Um, another thing just to point out on the calculator, if we exit that a couple of times, because our numbers are in a list, we can do it a slightly different way. So you can go back to interval. You can say it said, say we have one sample, but here when it says the data is a variable, you can tell it the data is in the list. So the data is there in the list. Confidence interval 0.98. Um, tell it the standard deviation we're using. Yeah, we're using the sample standard deviation, even though that says population one. Uh, debatable, isn't it? What would make that be? I'll leave it like that just to show you it gives you the same answer. And if we press go, it tells us the same numbers. It also reminds us what the sample standard deviation was, um, what the mean was, and gives us the same numbers as we had before. So basically, that's about it.